I'm moving to Korea with all of this. I'm so screwed. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Ava and I'm moving to Korea on my own at 18 years old in like one week for one year. I have had an interest in Korea for about two years. Uh, first I discovered Korea through K-pop, of course. Um, but I didn't take much interest in the country my idols were living in at first. And then with time I started getting more and more interested through YouTubers and just through K-dramas and stuff. And I just started falling in love with this country and wanting to go there so bad. So around two years ago I decided I would want to move to Korea after high school because I always knew I wanted to move to another country after high school. Uh, at first I wanted to go to London, then I wanted to go to Japan and finally I have settled with Korea and I was very very determined. So when I made my decision of moving to Seoul two years ago I started having this feeling that I should go visit there before permanently moving there in case all my illusions and dreams about this country might be not not true and I might be very disappointed and it wouldn't be as I would want. So in July 2017, one year ago, my father and I went to Seoul. He was very kind enough to accompany me on this amazing trip and I got to visit Seoul and I fell in love with the city. I spent 10 days there. You can read everything about my trip when I was in Korea uh, on Kpop Amino and I also posted it on my Instagram, so I'll put the link down below. And it was an amazing journey, I went. I saw EXO, I went to a concert, I saw Red Velvet noticed me. Um, I did so many so many things, I visited several areas and yeah, I, got, I just fell in love. On my last night before going back home, I, well actually to Tokyo, but I was just like looking at the streets and just thinking I love this place, I want to go back so bad. So yeah, that's why I eventually decided that one year in Korea would be just amazing. So then I started my last year of high school and it was all focused on well succeeding and graduating, which was hard enough, and also looking for a way to be staying in Korea. So my first idea was to be an au pair, which is a very, very popular system in Europe and also in America, I believe. Uh, but in Asia, it's not very popular, except maybe in China, but you don't really find families that want au pair, especially in Korea, so that failed. <laughs> Still hoping it might work out as I'm in Korea, but it failed as a beginning plan, especially as a Swiss. In terms of visa, it was really complicated. So that's why I decided I would want to learn Korean at a university in Korea. So that's when I started looking for universities that I could go to. My first choice was Ihua Woman University because I visited the campus when I was in Seoul. I mean, the most famous part, part and uh, I've been interested in this university for a long time uh, but I couldn't find any information about the payment and many many information I needed uh, for the Korean language program so I was kind of felt didn't feel confident to go to this university without the information I wanted. My second option was Solgang University. My Korean teacher said it was a good uni but then uh, I sent an, em sent an email at the same time as I sent an email to Yonsei University and Solgang never replied to me as Yon said did. Sogang apparently replies a lot, I guess my email got lost or something, but I did not really reply, but Yon replied so quickly, and I asked them many many questions and they always replied quickly, so I took this as a sign that it was um, very good news and that it was encouraging to keep on going there as it was going pretty smoothly. My only problem was that Yonsei's application period for the fall term uh, of this Korean language program uh, ended on the 20th of July and I only got my graduation certificate on the 6th of July so I had less than 15 days to translate my document and send it to Yonsei and I was afraid they might reject me because they already had full classes but fortunately everything went so well so they sent me all the information I need did and they accepted me and they gave me everything that I needed for my visa so it went perfectly thankfully. So I am now a Yonsei KLE student. I'm gonna learn Korean five days a week. It's the intensive kind of course so it's gonna be four hours per day uh, in the morning. Basically it's 10 weeks in a row for one session and there's four sessions per year. So for now I'm registered for the fall and winter session and I want to keep on going until the spring session at Yonsei and if I can afford it and if I want to do that I might do it also in the summer but I'm still not sure it will all depend on financial status and what I want to do next year because I still don't know if I want to stay in Korea, if I have other opportunities, if I can afford it uh, a lot of it is going to depend on that but for now I should, I'm, I'm definitely going to be there for six months 
probably most likely nine, maybe one year. We'll see. So uh, after after completing all this, being accepted in the university, I booked my flight and I got my visa. My visa, I had a very, very short time to do my visa and for it to arrive, but fortunately uh, the Korean embassy in Switzerland is very, very efficient and uh, I received it in less than two weeks. I was so glad, I was so afraid of that. And that's why I couldn't talk about uh, going to Korea before. Being is weird. I couldn't talk about being going to Korea before because I felt it would be bad luck to talk about going to Korea without having all the documents that said I could go. But I received my visa a few days ago and I'm leaving in less than 10 days. So now it's all good. I have everything. I'm ready. I'm so excited. If you want, I can make a video about all the process to get into the university and getting a visa and everything. If you want to know and if you're interested in moving to Korea too. It's less complicated than you would think, but it's pretty stressful. So. Once all this is all good, the next question is housing. Funny enough, that's the first thing I did before preparing for everything. So while I was in my exam session, so I couldn't register for the university, I hadn't booked my flight, anything. But I looked for housing for a couple of months before that. And there are several options for housing in Korea for foreigners, or not even foreigners, there's like so many options. And I have a very, very fun option. Um, I can make a video about all the options if you want because I looked at everything and what would be the best for me. Uh, there's Goshiwan, you can have housemates, you can stay in university dorms. There's so many, so many options. But I have something kind of special and unique and not very common, I would say. It's Borderless House. It's a sort of company thingy that exists in Korea, Japan and Taiwan. And they are amazing. Um, so basically the concept is they have several houses and apartments in Japan, Korea and Taiwan. And the houses are gonna be half filled with um, locals that live in the country and half by ex expats. So I emailed them uh, a few months ago to tell them, oh, I would be arriving in August, uh, I'm gonna be going to Yonsei University, what can you offer? So they told me that they didn't know yet which room would be available. And then in June they contacted me, they were like, okay, we have these two apartments in Hongdae area that are close and convenient for you to commute from. Uh, to uni university that are available in August for when you move in. So they were super, super duper nice. They were amazing and they put me so much like in... I was so like in trust and again, it felt right, if I may say. So I just contacted them uh, and then I had a Skype interview with one of the staff and uh, she walked me through everything and like told me about all the details and stuff. And yeah, I'm gonna be sharing uh, an apartment with three other Korean girls and two other foreigners normally. And it's gonna be really amazing. I'm gonna be sharing my room with two other girls. And I'll do an apartment tour if I can. And all everything once I'm settled in. Settled, settled in. If you want to know more about this Borderless House system, once I move in and I'm a bit experienced with it, I can gladly make a video about it and tell you more about it because honestly it's amazing even if you want to go to Taiwan or Japan the Japan houses that they offer are absolutely gorgeous they are so amazing so yeah I really rec recommend this so I guess that sums it up uh, I will be filming a lot in Korea I will film various things I'm gonna yeah try and vlog a lot on vlog better than I did last year when I was in Korea. I'll have more time and I already have so many things prepared. I'm going to the Sori Bada Awards. I don't think I'm allowed to film inside but I'm still gonna vlog a bit and I already have three fantastic exhibitions planned. I want to go to the BTS exhibition that uh, is held in Seoul that's gonna start in a few weeks. I'm gonna go to kind of a lot of concerts. I will try. And uh, yeah, I just also want to vlog through Seoul and to, through the nice things I do. I want to go eat bingsu with a friend, wear hanbok and kyongbokung. So I have a lot of things and also explain to you how my life at Yonsei is happening and my life in Seoul, my Korean life suddenly. So yeah, I, I'm gonna share a lot and I'm gonna finally make fun content that I've always wanted to make. I've always wanted to share a lot of this with you. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to make content I really really want to make and I've been waiting to make for so long. So if you aren't subscribed yet, subscribe to my channel, put the little notification on. I, I, can, I think I can say quite confidently that I will be making a lot of fun content. It's really gonna be amazing. Uh, I hope you'll follow me on this journey and yeah. So if you want any further information about anything I said in this video, uh, language barrier, 
how is it to be a foreigner in Seoul, anything that is related to like this trip or just housing, getting a visa, what, which university to take, how do I fund all this, you can totally like request in the comments and I'll make a video about it gladly. Thank you for watching, uh, see you in Seoul, it's gonna be amazing. Anyway, love you, see ya, bye bye!